Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, welcome to International Project Management Conference IPMC 2020. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I will present a paper with a title of Strategizing a Successful Offshore Commissioning and Startup in a Brownfield Environment. Before I go further with the presentation of this paper, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Muhammad Sahih bin Ahmad Shatiri. I am the Senior Hookup and Commissioning Engineer. I have been involved in uh, Petronas various projects in Brownfield and Greenfield project in Malaysia water, such as uh, Baram Delta, Pailan Rejuvenation project, D18 Phase 2 project, D28 and D18 Wellhead project, Flare Replacement project, and also I have experience in Greenfield projects such as uh, Baronia, BNPV project and also integrated book for BT project. So I also involved in various uh, professional membership uh, from uh, which is uh, Board of Engineer, uh, PMI, IEM and also MBOT. And also I have also do have a professional certification in uh, uh, project management. Uh, and also chartered uh, professional engineer in mechanical engineering, uh, risk management. Uh, also, I have uh, professional certification in agile under FPMMG and also uh, professional technologies under MBOT. Okay, we move into the first slide in uh, introduction of the presentation abstract. So in this project, I will explain uh, to you guys on the uh, startup and commissioning as well as construction in the brownfield project. So what we define as a, a brownfield project. So brownfield project defined as a, a project involved in upgrading and rejuvenation of the existing facilities and objective to cater for the production enhancements to extend the production life and to install new equipment or tie in with the new greenfield platform. So in this project, uh, the scope of the Brownfield project, we do also have a tie in with the, with the new CPP uh, platform. So in this slide, we cover some into, uh, brief introduction of the project, problem statement, uh, methodology, technology solution that we adopted in this project to make sure that we uh, successfully start up uh, the platform after the integration of the existing and the uh, new facility that we install uh, in order for us to start up the Brownfield platform. Again, the aspect cover in this uh, uh, presentation is the challenges and also securities that we encounter throughout this uh, project or short campaign. And last but not least, I will cover also in terms of the impact and uh, value creation from the strategy that we apply uh, in this uh, brownfield environment. This is the presentation outline. Uh, as, I, as I said uh, in P previous slide. So we come up with introduction, problem statement, uh, challenges, solution, impact, and also lesson learned. So first we come up with the introduction. So introduction, this is a project cater for field A and field B. Uh, both uh, fields were discovered and started production in early 1970s, which is uh, putting the existing facilities uh, in current survey on average 40 years. So this uh, development of field B cover in uh, three main objectives. So first objective is to improve the existing facilities, reliability and ability to complement the new CPP. So mm -hmm. we, we install the new facilities to complement the CPP. And then second is to extend the service life of the existing structure another 25 years and then to achieve zero contribution venting uh, by recovering of gas from the search vessel at the key. So we also converting the, the venting system to flash system. 
so that there will no more venting uh, at uh, this uh, field. We will uh, flaring all the gases from the safe vessel. So and then we uh, we cover some strategy apply in this executing for this offshore construction, commissioning, and startup in a complex brownfield environment. So we in the complex environment we encounter with the live operation, the still ongoing operation as well as uh, aging platform in FTP. This is the project field schematic. Um, you can see that the, the project uh, in this paper cover focus on the platform B1 and B2 on the top of the boxes and also B3. So even we have, even in overall of this project also we have some we have do have scope at uh, platform A1, A2, A3, C1 and D1. But this paper specifically we focus on the strategy that we adopted at the platform B1 and B2 uh, as well as B3. B3 actually is the uh, van platform. Uh, in this project, we will converting the van platform. Uh, we isolate. We will no more use a venting system. So we isolate the line to the van platform. So the problem statement uh, for this project, um, we identify problem statement in order for us to execute this uh, brownfield project as follow. Uh, we have four uh, main uh, problem statement that we, we focus in this project. First is to integrate the new existing platform facilities uh, with the limited shutdown windows. Uh, so the, in this project, we have a uh, integration of new and existing. But of course, requires shutdown. So we have limited shutdown. So we have to strategize based on this. Secondly, is uh, to ensure that we we achieve zero production deferment. If even we plan for shutdown, so we uh, we 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 target to achieve zero unplanned shutdown during the commissioning, testing, and construction activity, uh, which is during the ongoing operation. Third is to execute the construction testing commissioning uh, simultaneously with ongoing operation and maintenance work. So we make sure that uh, the smooth of execution between all the parallel activity that ongoing on the platform. Number four is to develop innovative methodology uh, to perform this offshore installation and also construction. So this is the strategy where we install all the equipment facilities uh, as such and very easy in order for us to execute it timely. Uh, 